Hey guys, <laughs> it has been a minute, hasn't it? Uh, it's been a while since we've picked up the camera and did something like this. Probably two years now since I came back from Canada. I'm now in Scotland, in the east of Scotland, I should say, in a town called Blegawi. It's a lovely rural shire called Perthshire. Uh, the main river that runs through is the River Eric. But now is the time to literally tell you what uh, I have planned coming up. Hopefully you like it and uh, we can kickstart this adventure, this Scottish adventure. All oh, right. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Okay. Oh man, my phone's stuck in my pocket. Okay. Right. I was actually supposed to bring a flask of tea and I've just realised I forgot it. It was actually a flask of tea, but I also was going to bring a mug with me. Like, this mug is super special because it was made right here. In, it, was, it was handcrafted right here. Well, not literally right here, but literally just down the road, five minutes from a girl. And it's... Uh, never mind. I promise on the next episode, we'll have tea together. We'll have tea together in the next episode. Um, oh man, where do we start? Okay, I brought my iPad with me um, because I've kind of written out kind of what I want to go over in this episode. Ah, my fingers, my finger, uh, that's fine, that's fine. We're, 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 we're on the ball now, right? I'm just gonna pull up and then we're gonna get right into this. So welcome back and um, I really hope you're well and in good health, especially after the first half of the year that we've had. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to the second half of the year and I really do hope that it's gonna, that it's gonna be much, much better for you. I wanted to come on here and share with you guys a little bit of an update about what's gonna be coming up. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm laughing. <laughs> about what's coming up um, over like for 2020 and 2021. And so for those of you who've been here for a while, <laughs> oh man, come on. Uh, those of you that have been here for a while um, will, will have noticed the changes that have been happening over the last uh, year or so. Um, like it's been different content, it's been various experiments. Um, and that's just because I'm trying to find my way as a video creator over the last few years. You might have noticed some new kind of travel content that was uploaded towards the end of last year. And um, it was all hyper-focused on traveling locally in Scotland. And the reason why is because my aim is to share with you the beautiful Scottish countryside and all that Edinburgh hints of Scotland's history can be discovered right here. This is the first time I've actually tried my hand at planning, uh, filming, and editing a small travel series. And Ah, to be honest, I was really surprised at just how much work actually goes in to those kind of videos. So as you can probably guess by the title of this video, I do plan to continue to improve these travel videos because um, I really want to share with you the, 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 the stories, the travel tips, the, the information about local people and the history of their town. And um, I, just, I just hope that it would inspire you to come to Scotland to travel locally and sustainably, and um, to discover the rich cultural heritage that could only be found right here nestled within the vast rural network of towns and shires. I'm not yet a full-time content creator because I still rely on my part-time supermarket job to pay the bills. And I also have a second job as a video editor um, with a hearing aid company in the US. That just means that I can only upload uh, one video a month at the moment on this channel. However, I am trying my hardest to get uh, a little less reliant, to be a little less reliant on my supermarket job so that I can free up more time to share this beautiful country that is Scotland with you. However, with that being said, I do plan on continuing to create and do work for others, especially if the work or the projects that they're working on is, is contributing to positive, sustainable social change and innovation. For example, I'm a massive believer that when we travel locally, we can support those communities. Um, so for example, if we choose to shop in a store and sleep in a B&B that is locally owned and operated by 
local families that live in and around that community, then it helps to keep your money in that local community to strengthen their local economy, which improves their resilience and ability to navigate any future crisis that happens in obviously the future. I really like to label this kind of travel as adventure with heart, because that's kind of what it is. You're being a bit thoughtful about the local places and stuff like that. And so with that being said, I've, the way that I've set up this YouTube channel is represented in the five playlists that I currently have. If you prefer to read rather than watch these videos, then I'll always have a link in the description of every single video that you can click on. It will take you to the website um, and you can discover a whole range of content there. It's going to be updated weekly as much as possible and it's going to be, you can find travel tips, uh, information and um, other blog posts uh, uh, and other stories about traveling locally in Scotland. And also, I plan to extract uh, the audio from future videos um, and, and sort of create a podcast and I'll keep that on the website as well so you can access a podcast and listen to these videos on the fly if that's what you prefer to do. I also wanted to find a way to communicate with you one on one because I know some of you have been here since the very beginning, since I was like in Australia and so I really wanted to try sending monthly email newsletter thingies to you and so that's what I'm going to do but I, I'm committing to sending you one email a month because I don't want to do any more than that because I don't want you to feel like I'm spamming you and I would rather it just be an opportunity for us to continue the adventure that we're on together. I've titled it the magical mystery tour because in Scotland there's no knowing where your feet may take you and who doesn't want to go on a magical mystery tour anyway? You'll have the opportunity to get access to exclusive content um, and you'll also get a roundup of everything that we've done, all the adventures that we've been on for that specific month. But I think it's really important to note that not every video is going to be a sit down video like this because I really do want to get back into the vlog style videos um, but with just a little bit more structure and focus. And so if you're happy with the direction that we're headed and you feel inclined to support this channel, then one of the best ways that you can do that at the moment is by sharing what I'm doing here with others. Any way that you think of that you think could help get the word out about what I'm doing here is an invaluable service that you can give me. And so thank you so much for even being interested in this channel in the first place. Um, I can't begin to say how honored I am to be able to create this kind of content for you and to hear how they're inspiring you is creatively fulfilling, incredibly creatively fulfilling. This year, I plan to create some tasty content that'll inspire you to travel locally in Scotland, to venture beyond the well-known cities, away from the hustle and bustle, and into the beautiful Scottish countryside, where all the Edinburgh hints of Scotland's history can be discovered. And so, here's to a great year ahead for all of us. Let's do it.